Do super shoes help everyone? Hi, Christopher Kelsall here with Athletics Illustrated. Today we're at the Pacific Institute for Sport Excellence, or PICE for short, here in Victoria, BC. And the purpose of today's video is to uh, enter into the debate about super shoes and ask the overarching question, do super shoes only help elite athletes or do they help everyone? Case in point, Joseph Camilleri, who's here with us today, he's a 71-year-old competitive age group athlete. He's going to do the first half of his workout in a non-super shoe, and he'll do the second half of his workout in the Nike Next Percent. Today's workout is six times one mile. Joseph uh, ran until he was 19 years of age in Malta, emigrated to Great Britain, and then later to Canada. He stopped running for 41 years. 10 years ago, he began his running career again and uh, has set personal bests of 41 minutes and 23 seconds in the 10K and 90 minutes and 35 seconds in the half marathon. Now at 71, he is looking to improve upon those performances and his workouts are pointing in that direction. Looking smooth. Um, I started with a warm up already, uh, about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to do six times one mile intervals. According to my coach, I'm supposed to do 800 uh, jog recovery. You have personal best 4123 for the 10K and 9035 for the uh, half marathon. Uh, your other workouts right now are, are I guess, pointing towards. Uh, set a new personal best at 71 years of age? Yes, I'm hoping to do my next half marathon in about uh, 90 minutes. Uh, that's going to be a, a tough challenge since there is no races. It will be just a time trial for me. You're going to be assisted a little bit by, at least you think, by the Nike Next Percents. Uh, yes, it's a funny feeling the minute you put them on. Once you uh, start running, you can feel the shoe pushing you forward it's like propelling you forward and uh, you know after doing a few intervals you notice that it's really helping you along yeah and so how did those intervals go First three in the Pegasus were in 6.35, the average time, uh, with the Nike Next was uh, 6.30, my average time. Well, not exactly, but Joseph did run pretty close to those times. Checking his My Garmin Connect account, he ran 6.30.7. 637 flat and 639.8 in the Nike Pegasus and then when he switched to the Nike next percent he ran 625.7 636 flat and 631.7 so the average was 635.8 in the Pegasus and 631.3 in the next percent of four and a half second improvement on average he's been able to replicate these results at least a couple of times uh, one in particular was when he wore the Brooks Racer ST5. In that particular workout, he ran five times 800 meters at an average of three minutes and 18 seconds in the Brook Racers. And uh, when he switched to the next percent, he ran five more 800 meter repetitions on an average of 312. So a six second improvement on average. Thank you for watching this video and we'll keep you apprised at how Joseph does with his half marathon personal best attempt. Please join us on social media. We have a Strava club at forward slash Athletics Illustrated. We are on Facebook and Instagram as well as Twitter at athillustrated.com. And of course, get all your latest athletics news at www.athleticsillustrated.com.